I'd like to welcome you all tonight, and I'd like to um, say a big congratulations to the class of 2013. You should be very proud of yourselves. I know that everyone in attendance is proud of you. I don't know about you, but I never thought that I would be here tonight. All of you know the sacrifices required, and I can't tell you anything that you don't already know. How many of you remember the day that you walked through Charter's doors for the first time? Like me, I'll bet your life was different. Remember the commitment each one of us made and the determination it took to make tonight possible. I've been told that the Spirit of the Lord is everywhere, and I've been told that life would be so much easier if I would only count my blessings instead of my sorrows. I often think about those two statements. Let me take a moment and tell you a little bit about me, and then I'll let you finish. In January of 2009, after a couple of tumultuous years, I felt like life was finally turning around. For the first time, my husband and I were able to live on our own. We had just moved out of my parents' house and talk about hurdles. At that time, both of my parents were going through chemotherapy, but they were finally both stable. My husband and I both had good jobs, and we'd been trying to conceive a child for three years and were finally able to see a doctor about it. But in May of that year, my husband got laid off from General Motors, and with that went our benefits. In the meantime, my job that I left at the elementary school would suffice. I ran the front office and was the secretary and bookkeeper. I also taught computer lab and drama, and because of my inability to have children, I really enjoyed my job. However, the pay was horrendous with no benefits, so my husband losing his job was a major setback for us. If you recall, the economy decided to take a dive at that time, so him finding a job was incredibly hard. It took four months, but life was finally back on track, or so I thought. In October of that year, my boss of four years called me into his office and told me that I was being laid off. I felt like such a failure. I worked up the courage to call my husband and break the news to him, and like always, he was supportive and told me that everything would be okay. And then he said something. He said, maybe this is a blessing that you just can't see yet. Maybe God has another plan for you. It wasn't what I wanted to hear, but it was a little comforting. So I started the search for a new job, and I went on a couple of interviews, but my heart just wasn't into it. I kept waiting for my former boss to call me back and say they'd made a big mistake, but they never did. Then one day, a friend of mine told me that he was going to be going back to school full time. And I couldn't get that thought out of my head. Throughout the years, I had tried to continue my education and work on classes, but work was always more important to me. But now that work was out of the way, I was contemplating going back to school full time. I knew how much of a burden this would be putting on my husband, but I thought I would run it by him anyways, and of course, he was supportive. So he told me to follow my dreams and my heart, so I did. I enrolled in classes at Moore Park College and I took my first accounting class. And shortly after taking that, I decided accounting was what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I know, accounting, right? Who wants to do accounting for the rest of their lives? <laughs> but for the first time in my college experience, I was getting straight A's and I ended my first semester with a bang. My focus was finishing my degree as quickly as possible and I felt like I couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And as I was having these thoughts, I heard a commercial on the radio. It was a college advertising that the classes were five weeks long, and they offered certificates, associates, and bachelor's degrees, and what do you know, they had an accounting major. Then they said, for more details, call us at Charter College. I'm sure you will all agree, we will never forget our first visit to Charter College. There was a whole wave of emotions, some of excitement, some of fear. Was I making the right choice? But most of all, I had hope. For the first time, I knew that I could reach my goal. But once I saw the price of the program, fear really set in and in a hurry, so I really had to follow through with this. And as of tonight, the rest is history. I share this with you because I truly believe that things happen for a reason. Obstacles are thrown in our way, not to break us down, but it's how we deal with those obstacles. All of us know that it wasn't easy, but our drive, determination, and commitment instilled strength to follow through and got us here today. So when life starts to get you down and you feel like it'll never get better, I encourage you to think back on this night and the accomplishments that you've made. And as you leave here tonight, remember to hold a prayer in your heart and have a little faith and the rest will fall into place. Wishes do come true, miracles happen every day, and prayers do get answered. For as I stand before you today ready to receive my bachelor's degree, both my parents are healthy and my wonderful husband of seven years holds our one-month-old baby boy.